Hi everyone, Mr. Eric Kwa here, founder of Mr. Chemistry. Hope you're enjoying the videos that I've made for you especially. Remember to tap that like button and to click subscribe and to share with your friends if you found any of these videos useful or interesting. I look forward to seeing you around. Let's get started with today's topic. Hi everybody. So this is another 10 year series question that I went through with my class. I thought this table, right, kind of summarizes like a the preferential discharging of different elements from electrolysis. So it's, I think it's a pretty good practice for all of you. Okay, so if you look at the, the question itself, right, the first row that we have, let's focus in on this first row. We have concentrated aqueous copper 2 chloride. So the key word here is concentrated because the electrode used is actually a kind of inert so it doesn't really react when we have concentrated copper 2 chloride right it only affects the anion that is going to be produced so because of the fact that it's concentrated chloride is going to be preferentially discharged compared to the OH minus okay so for this first question that's all that they are asking chlorine will be discharged at the positive uh, anode okay so the second part of this question right um let's zoom in on the second part where they actually ask you okay so what is the product at the cathode okay so what's interesting here is that the electrode use is not inert uh, it's actually copper metal so when copper metal is going to be used then obviously uh at the positive electrode which is your anode copper two ions will be discharged okay but same thing here right um because copper is less reactive than your say uh h plus copper will be preferentially discharged at the cathode okay which is the negative electrode all right so copper is discharged okay the last one right um the last one, if you notice, right, this last row here, they say that uh, noted uh, that is inert electrode. Uh, they say for this inert electrode, you only get chlorine and sodium. Now, sodium, right, it doesn't get discharged unless uh, you have molten ionic compound. Okay, because sodium is very reactive. It is least preferred to be discharged if any of the other cations are around so from this sodium right we can kind of deduce that oh probably your electrolyte has no other cation present so in order for that to be true we have to use the molten ionic compound okay so that sodium has no choice but to be discharged so the biggest hint is actually looking at the product at the cathode Alright, so that's all for this table. Let me know if you find it useful. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Okay, share with your friends so that they can also benefit from this. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.